guys, welcome to Wild Vlogs, where we'll talk about all things wildlife and all things filmmaking. And we're heading straight into the film today, as you can tell my voice isn't much improved, but this one's going to be all about my allotment fox. The allotment fox is a film I made in 2016, and the starring characters in this film were the alpha female, the mother, Frankie. There was her mate, the alpha male, who I named Spot. There was their two cups, and they were Smudge and Dash, both females. And also, and more importantly for today's vlog, there was a subordinate vixen, and her name was Whiskey. Now I hope without giving away too many spoilers, um, Frankie, the alpha female, died New Year 2017. I returned briefly just for one evening in late April 2017 to catch up. And we kind of knew that Whiskey, the nanny, the subordinate female, had become the alpha female. And also, seeing as you had quite clearly been lactating, had had a litter of cubs. None of us at this point had seen the cubs, and we were sure, we weren't for, for definite sure, that her mate might be her father, Spot. We're well, nearing the end of this evening, in late April 2017, Somebody gave us a tip off that at the back of Pete and Michelle's plot there was some movement from some little furry bundles. And sure enough, it wasn't long before we were face to face with Whiskey's new litter. Didn't take long for us to ascertain that there were four cubs. Some still very dark, and bearing in mind when these cubs are born, they can range from milk to dark chocolate brown and they slowly turn this reddish gingerish colour over the first five to six weeks. These were just about five to six weeks old and already they're starting to hone their skills as a fox. The pouncing, leaping, biting. And generating that guile has become famous with the red fox. And then mum appeared, whiskey, and I felt kind of proud to see her now in her new dominant role with her family around her, extremely alert as she always was. And even though her eyesight in daytime isn't that good, foxes can only see really up to about 20 metres in daylight, which changes completely at night when they can see infinitesimally better than any of us. I thought that was going to be the end of this evening, but then Molly, one of the allotmenteers, told me that Spot had appeared on a next door plot to hers. Almost too dimsy for filming, but great to see him and reinforcing what we thought we knew, that he was still the alpha male. And sure enough, within the next few minutes, who should turn up but Whiskey? And both of them lay together. Quite often far less risky to adopt the current male rather than invite or bring in a strange male. And so, just this week, I decided I'd return. Molly and Graham had invited me back, and it was wonderful to be here again amongst familiar surroundings. The breeding season for foxes had now just be over, and we were waiting to see if Whiskey was going to have another litter. The real hope for me was just that I'll be able to see, just once maybe, if only briefly, Whiskey. She would now be in her fifth year 
and if she was pregnant, this would be the start of her fourth litter. Sadly, we knew that Spot had passed away the previous year, so she would have had to adopted a new alpha male. Who that was, was anybody's guess. And we must remember, of course, she may not be the alpha female anymore. That could now, as happened with her, have been passed on to a subordinate vixen. This was always going to be a day of reunions, more than just with the foxes, but also with the distinct and wonderful characters from the original film. Characters like Marcus. Thank you. After about half an hour or so of gently negotiating the pathways, and looking to the sunnier edges where the foxes may be soaking up some warmth, I was aware that possibly I was being watched. And sure enough, it wasn't long before I came face to face with the first resident. Clearly enjoying the early February warming rays of the sun, but confusingly hiding all the telltale signs that I could take to try and identify it. I knew that of the original family, I would only possibly find whiskey, or at a push, smudge and dash, and even then would I recognise those two cubs. I was pretty sure though I would recognise whiskey, in fact I was certain of it. Thanks to an allotment here and a wrought iron gate, I get a brief glimpse of the face of this fox. I would love to think that this is Dash. It's a similar marking to the muzzle. But there's no way I could tell. I just can't be sure. I'd heard the occasional drumming great spotted woodpecker it was nice to see one of the patrolling females checking out the acoustics. Fantastic to see Pete and Michelle back on the original nursery den plot. And of course this plot also where I filmed Whiskey with her cubs in 2017. And great and somewhat surprising to see that the beehives are already active Clearly some of these female worker bees are already having pollen baskets and must be finding blooms from somewhere. But as my morning neared to an end and the song thrush serenaded me, I happened upon a second fox. Could it be? I would like to think after years and years of staring at Whiskey's face every day that I'd recognise her eyes. And yes, I recognise these eyes. It's Whiskey. She was obviously aware that somebody was nearby. And this Mexican standoff lasted for 10 minutes, but then she stood up to leave. In all her glory, this was Whiskey. Now in her fifth year, but is she pregnant? And is she still alpha female? These are questions I'll hope to answer in the forthcoming weeks as we intermittently continue with the return to a Lockman Fox series in these vlogs but I was absolutely made up to see her again. We've been through a lot, her and I, and if this was to be our final year, then at least I could say I touched base with her once more. On leaving, I had my first sight of catkins, this one belonging to a young hazel. Every year, it appears, they appear earlier, and the snowdrops I was expecting, but the working honeybees I possibly wasn't. 
Well, that's it for this week's vlog, guys. Apologies for the voice. I really hope it improves soon. I'll see you back in the studio for vlog 11 next week. And I'll leave you with this wonderful honeybee. As I say, goodbye.